Eleven years after India stunned the world by coming out of the nuclear closet, this will be the next big milestone in its emergence as a credible nuclear weapons power. On Sunday, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh will launch India's first indigenous nuclear-powered submarine, which is being built to fire ballistic missiles tipped with nuclear weapons. It, it is happening. It is happening. Nothing beyond that. I told you it is becoming a reality. Named INS Arihant or destroyer of enemies, this submarine will complete India's triad of nuclear weapons, which can be fired from land, air and under the sea. This 5,000 ton vessel will be armed with 12 nuclear armed K-15 ballistic missiles, which have a range of 700 kilometers. The K-15s will later be replaced by the 3,500 kilometer range KX missiles. Its 80 megawatt nuclear reactor will ensure that it takes submerged for as long as it takes and with dimensions of 104 meters length and 10 meters width, it's a baby boomer. The Arihant is expected to be weaponized and in use by 2011, by which time India would have already trained its naval crews on an Akula-class submarine leased from Russia. India plans a fleet of 10 nuclear submarines in 20 years. That's a modest start. China, in comparison, already has 10, and the U.S. has as many as 74.